making statements in there, you don't think this pipeline is safe, am I right? Uh, I think there's enough gray areas, good engineering questions that need to be answered before it should be allowed to run in an unrestricted way. You said something about the coatings, you said something about not being able to inspect underneath the pipe, can you explain that? Uh, the pipe sits in the dirt, you know, you did say something about those outer wraps of fiberglass are intended to prevent dirt movement or protect the pipeline from dirt movement. This pipe sits in the dirt, it moves around because it shrinks and expands. The bottom of the pipe is the part I'm worried about. That's where they usually fail. You said something about Kurt Bernanke. Am I saying his name right? He, the Enbridge guy. What did you say that he's? It was an interesting interpretation. Am I right? Can you tell something about what you said about I, that? Well, I said he made an interesting interpretation of the seven-layer coating system that was originally designed by the Bechtel company for this pipe, and that uh, to, to re expand that a little bit. Uh, I mentioned that Enbridge bought this thing. They didn't build it, they didn't design it. I don't know what they know about it for sure. What do you think should happen right now? Is this pipeline <coughs> unsafe? What should happen? I, that's not my job. My job is to inform people. Think of me as somebody like Dilbert. I explain to management what the problems are. What management does is what management always does. But it's not my job to make it that decision that involves many soft things like employees and Michigan's energy economy. I think there are very good questions to be asked and that need to be answered, Can and I it should happen now. And I just want to get specifically, there was recently a revelation about these 19 coding, protective coding problems called a <coughs> holiday. Yeah. You commented that you believed that there's a real problem with those coatings. Could you just explain that? Uh, well, the coding system was originally designed with seven layers. It's down to zero, one, or two layers now in many places. We don't know how many because we can't look under the pipe. So the, the real question is, is, is this adequate? It's a long ways from what the designers intended. Uh, Enbridge says, don't worry about that. That's when I start worrying about that. But is it safe right now to have 23 million gallons of oil going through a 64-year-old pipeline? I don't work in terms of safe. I work in terms of probabilities. I think that this, the, the probabilities of a rupture are enough greater than zero that I'm concerned about it. 